Modify NURBS object, create curves rollout, transform. A transform curve is a dependent curve subobject, and it's a duplicate of the original curve. And you can modify that duplicate to a different position or a different scale or rotation, etc. So we're going to go up and we're going to create here a NURBS uh, point curve. And I'll just pick something like such. And, and I'll hit enter here. And now there's my point curve. Now I'm going to pick on it. I'm going to go up into my command panel, go to modify tab. I'm going to go down to my object sublevel, and I'm going to hit the plus sign. I'm going to make sure I pick the highest part of the tree, the NURBS curve. I'm going to come down into the Create Curves Rollout. In the section called Dependent Curves, I'm going to choose Transform. I click on this, I'm going to come over and pick on the curve. When I pick on the curve, it turns blue. I pick on it, and I can hold my left mouse button down, and I can pull a copy of that object away from the original. And now, uh, I can let go of that object and now I have a copy. I can come over here and pick on the curve option and pick on a particular uh, curve that is the duplicate and I can use any of my move, scale, rotate gizmos. In this case I'll use my move gizmo and I'm going to move it up into a different Z elevation. I could actually move it anywhere I like, etc. and I could scale it, etc. Um, I can even rotate it and things like that. So, um, I've made the transform curve is I have a dependent curve subobject over here and it's a duplicate of the original and then once I have the duplicate then I can position it, I can rotate it, I can scale it, etc. as needed. So, um, I could go and rotate it if I want at this point. So these tend to be very handy way of transforming a curve and creating a new curve that is a dependent curve subobject.